Carpal tunnel syndrome is a very common condition caused by the pill, pregnancy, rheumatological or endocrine disorders and involves compression of the median nerve in the carpal tunnel. Now let's see how the median nerve gets compressed. In the wrist, the most obvious features are the carpal bones. There are eight carpal bones in two rows. Note the position of the ulna and radius that articulate with these rows of bones. Only four of these bones are important to the carpal tunnel. These bones are the scaphoid, the trapezium, the small sesamoid pisiform bone and the hook of the hamate. The flexor retinaculum is stretched across these bones and its essential function is to hold in place the tendons that lie below it. The muscles that lie beneath the flexor retinaculum are the four tendons of the flexor digitorum profundus, the four tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis and the flexor of the thumb, pollicis longus. These nine tendons are tied down under the flexor retinaculum to stop them bowstringing. There are two important nerves in this area, the ulnar nerve, which is superficial to the retinaculum, and the median nerve, which lies deep to the flexor retinaculum, and this is the key to carpal tunnel syndrome. As we move down the arm, we can see that the median nerve lies amongst the flexor tendons and at the hand, it is more superficial. It passes underneath the flexor retinaculum and then fans out to supply the hand and in particular, the thena musculature. Because of the reduction in space below the tight flexor retinaculum, it is the median nerve seen in this axial cross section that presents to the doctor as being damaged. The sensory supply of the median nerve is the anterior surface of the thumb and two and a half fingers, shown here in purple and may present with tingling, pain or loss of sensation over the area. If the condition is prolonged, the patient may present with wasting of the thena eminence muscles, which are supplied by the recurrent branch of the median nerve. Nerve conduction studies can confirm the diagnosis. Operative treatment involves cutting the flexor retinaculum. You can see the main median nerve here and the recurrent median nerve that supplies the thena eminence. In most cases, after fibrosis, the operation is successful and the scarring is minimal in the area. In summary, carpal tunnel syndrome is the compression of the median nerve in the carpal tunnel, causing pain and loss of sensation. A common presentation is, Doctor, I can't open my pill bottle. <laughs>